Welcome to NLP Craft video tutorials. Apache NLP Craft is a Java-based open source library for adding natural language interface to modern applications, enabling people to interact with your products using voice or text. In this video, we'll develop a quick and simple Hello World example for NLP Craft to demonstrate its main runtime components and APIs. Let's go ahead and let's start at the beginning. I have NLP Craft latest version downloaded as a zip. So the first thing we need to do is unzip. Create a folder. Let's go into it. And Apache NLP Craft is a Maven based project. So let's go ahead and run Maven build, making sure that we include examples profile. So build can take uh, a few minutes. If you download the bin uh, distribution, you can skip this step. Once the build is complete, uh, we're ready to start working on our example. So first we need to create a project. And there's uh, many ways uh, you can create a project in Java. You can create it through Maven, you can create it manually, you can use your ID. But in LP Craft, probably the easiest way is to use a very handy command line utility that comes with LP Craft called LP Craft CLI. It's located in the build folder and it's called NLP Craft. It's available for both Unix and Mac OS as a shell and, and CMD for Windows. When we started, it starts in the REPL interactive mode. There's plenty of commands here. You can explore it. We're going to use a command called a gen project. We can look at its help. It basically creates a, a stab of a project with the POM XML if we're using a Maven. OSBT or Gradle, you know, creates a, a stop classes and models. It's a very convenient way to get started pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to supply a base name. We're going to work on a Hello World project. Uh, we're going to use Scala as a language, although you can use any JVM-based language, Kotlin, Java, Scala, Groovy. It's entirely uh, pretty much exactly the same code base. Uh, we're going to use package name. Let's call it a demo. And... Um, Let's specify the output directory in the home. Let's call it a um, maybe hello world. So this is basically our project. Uh, we created right in our home folder director. It created us a POM XML, uh, readme, and the source files for both model configuration and a hello world model. So now we can open our ID of choice. I'm using ID. You can use any ID you like. And go ahead and open the project. It's going to load up the... And once we located our project, we can just click on the palm and open the project. Now that we have our project fully loaded, the ID is fully done as far as the caching and the indexing. Let's just take a look what the project consists of. So just as we saw in our command line, uh, we have Hello World YAML, which is our data model, at least a static representation of the data model we have. Uh, we have our class where we're going to reference our intents and provide callbacks for the intents. And we have a configuration. We're actually not going to change configuration at all. Uh, all the defaults are per perfectly fine for this example. And what I usually like to do is to start with the model and specifically start with this samples array. Uh, this samples array actually plays a very important role. Not only it provides the documentation as far as in what kind of input a particular intent would match or should match, it also provides a very nice automated testing and validation of a model. So once we have those samples, uh, we can very easily run a auto validator, and I'll show you in a second how to do it, and see if these inputs will match to the intent that we have here. And intent is intent ID, which we will come back to in a second. But first, I'd like to basically know what I'm going to be doing. And, well, we're working with a Hello World example, so let's just come up with some kind of, you know, sentences that we would like to match. So the first part is this, Hello World. Maybe something like, Hi, NLP Craft World. Greetings to you. And maybe that's enough for now. So, so that's basically what we'd like to, set of sentences we'd like to match. We obviously can have a lot more if we need to. So for the simple example here, uh, we're not going to have um, anything to do here as far as a, any kind of logic. We're just going to return exactly the same string back as a response, no matter what the uh, content is. So I'm going to say something like this. Hello, back to you from NLP Craft. 
And um, so now let's go back in our model and see what we need to do to actually match this intents or these sentences and how to create intent. So model has, you know, a bunch of properties. Almost all of them are here just a demonstration of default values. You can remove almost all of them. We don't need them. But uh, for now, let's just keep. We definitely need macros. We're not going to use any macros for this example. And uh, we can essentially create an intent where we're going to expect a two terms. The one term is going to be the world hello. Another term is going to be the world, the word world. So um, how about we're going to call it x hello as an element. Drop the description. And all we're going to say here is um, various form of saying hello. So something like this. And remember, we have word greetings. Obviously, this is very simplistic, and you know, NLP Craft has a very sophisticated way of you know defining the synonyms and, and in groups in ideal language and whatnot. But for this example, we're going to concentrate on something very simple. And we're also going to have another element here, and those called a a named entities. And we're going to define them very simply. Um, and here we're just going to say world. And intent, we're basically just going to have a two terms. The one term should say should actually match the element hello, and another term should match the element world. That's just that. What's also important is two other properties. They are here. I'm going to move them up so we can see them a little bit more prominently. The permutation of synonyms and sparsity. Both of them by default is false, but you know we want to basically match a free form natural language. We would like to enable NLP graph to permutate synonyms when it's trying to match the intent and will also allow us sparsity between the terms. So again, just to widen the aperture of, of the matching algorithm that NLP graph would use. So that's about it. Go back. Uh, we don't really need any of the terms captured here, so we can remove that and have a very simplistic, but you know, fun and working model. So let's make sure we can save it and build it. Let's make sure we don't have any mistakes in the build. So build is done, and uh, now we need to go back here and actually start our server. So there's a two major components in NLP Craft. There's a REST server that actually acts as the REST hub, and there is a prop that hosts and deploys user data model. So let's start the server. And again, it's just a Java application. You can start many different ways, but starting through NLP Craft CLI is the easiest way. And by the way, we do it in REPL mode and interactive mode. You can do it in a scripted environment, you know, as a command line utility. So it takes about 30 seconds to start. And what we can do now is to use a very interesting command called a test model, which will do exactly what I've said a few minutes ago. It will take those samples, start the embedded probe, take those samples, run them against our model, and ensure that those samples match to the intent they are attached to. So all we have to do is just basically specify where our model classes are located. And if I remember correctly, it's somewhere here. And let's go ahead. It starts the embedded prop with the model we just developed. It actually runs all our examples, actually all our samples, against the, the model. And it basically, this sentence matched to this intent. And this sentence matched to this intent pretty nicely. So let's go back and actually play with this a little bit more just to see how it works. So what if we're going to say something like um, um, world howdy. See if this works. Just make sure we build it. We can go back here. Instead of typing all this uh, long command, we can basically say read test model. It will run the last uh, command testing model. So now we actually have some failure because for some reason we can discover we can actually fix it right away. But this did not match. And the reason for this is that howdy is not part of our model. So if we go over here, we have a hello and a hi and greetings, but no howdy, right? Easy fix. We're simply going to add here howdy. Done with commas here. I think we need to rebuild the project. Go back here and retest the model. There's plenty of output, by the way, we can analyze, but hey, it works now. So what's also interesting is that the since we enabled the permutation of synonyms and sparsity, these terms hello and world, don't have to come in the same order. If we look at our example, the world howdy actually comes in the reverse order, but it still basically detects this. Uh, we can also say, we can add, you know, some words to it. It's perfectly fine. And uh, we're going to run it again and test our model. And it should work. And it does work. So it doesn't matter what words we add, as long as we detect the word, the two named entities, the name entity hello with these synonyms and the world 
and that the world with this synonym, our intents or intent matches the inputs. All right, that's basically all there is to it. All we have to do now is to stop the server, quit the NLP Craft CLI, and with that, with example. Thanks for watching.